Welcome to Yoga with Smiles. This is Shobha here from Smile Maker Training and today I am talking about the throat issues. And my first uh, story is about a group of people sitting on a dining table. The salt is less and somebody says, oh, what is this? Salt is less. Without realizing it, you are adding to the negative energy in the room. So my request to you is, first request is, be aware of the nature of the words that come out from your mouth. You have a choice. The same thing can be said in a negative energy way and the same thing can be said in a positive way. How would you say that? Just say, can you please pass me on the salt? You can just add a little salt to what is there. And you notice one thing. Most of the time, we are very, very expressive in giving our criticisms. When we don't like something, it comes out at once. Consider, do you really make an attempt to say something positive, say something in praise? If there is another dish in the dining table which is really tasty, do you make an effort to say that, yes, this is very tasty, this is very nice? Can you say that? You know? So that is what is the importance of the words. Okay? So my first tip is be aware of the nature of the words. As far as possible, try to take out positive sounding words from your mouth. Now I want to ask you, there was a research done. And how much percentage do you think is the words important for your uh, communication. How much do you think words are important? As a percentage, do you know the importance of words in your communication? It is only 7%. So how much, see a throat, throat means communication, okay? So I want to ask you, how much percentage, if words are only 7%, then how do you think you're communicating? What is the other important aspect of your communication? Think about it. Uh, yeah. Think expressions. Expressions, you're close. You're close, you're close. Anything else? Tone. 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 Yeah, who said that tone? Who said that's very nice? Tone. Yes, tone. yeah. Tone of voice. You know? The same thing you can say it in different ways. Okay? The meaning of the word will change depending on what is the tone of your voice. Can somebody give me one example of a simple sentence? Subject, verb, object. One simple sentence give me. Can someone give me a simple sentence? Just one example. Any one sentence. Hmm? Any one sentence? Just some sentence. Any one. Mamta. Hmm. Uh, you can say, don't do that. Huh. Okay. I want a subject. I want, I want a subject. So you don't do that. Okay? Okay? Yeah. So the, suppose that sentence, you don't do that. Yeah. What do you... Suppose, yes, do that. Not, yeah, it sounds better, that's true. But just take a simple sentence, you don't do that. If you say, you don't do that. What it means, that somebody else can do it, but you don't do that. Understand? If I say, you don't do that. It means that, you that is one thing you should never, ever, ever do. Okay? You don't do that. It means you can do other things, but you should not do not. that thing. So the same sentence, the meaning changes depending on where you stress, where is your tone of voice. So just be aware of the tone of voice. Okay, And this is something which I've been talking since years, but I'm telling you it is very difficult to practice, especially with your family members. Our tone of voice is very, very nice when we talk to the outsiders. 
you know, we keep teaching communication skills and all that. But when it comes to your family members, whether you're aware of it or not, people are not listening to your words. They are listening to your tone of voice. We wonder why our children are talking to us you know, with, not, with not enough respect. We realize we are not talking with respect to them. You know, our tone of voice is probably very controlling or very, you know. So just, just be aware of the tone of the voice. Tone of the voice comes to 37% of your communication. Okay, so one is words, uh, the positive sounding words. One is be aware of your tone of voice. And what is the balance 55% of your communication about? Think. Think what is the 57, 55% of your communication? How do you communicate? Why do you think I say I want to see your video on? Yeah, fashion also Yes, talks. because I want to see, because more than a voice and a tone of words and the tone of voice, what we communicate through our body language. You know, the gestures that we make, the postures, the... Okay, now suppose uh, I am talking to you, okay, and I ask you to do some work and... Uh, when I ask you to do something, okay, I ask you, and you're looking like this, 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 you're looking like this. What are the chances that you're going to do my work? More or less? Less. Less, isn't it? Yeah. So, the thing is, one very important, welcome, welcome, Kusum. Uh, we were just talking about the three aspects of communication. Throat, throat represents communication. And the three aspects of communication, the first one is words, which is only 7% of your communication. So my tip is, as far as possible, use positive sounding words. Second aspect is your tone of voice. As far as possible, be in a calm, cool state of tone of voice especially with your family members if you practice with your family members you'll be able to practice it with outsiders and the third aspect is your body language okay because we communicate with, with our gestures our postures and one very very important tip if you want to have power in your communication with people then one of the very important aspect is make sure you're having eye contact with them so when you talk to people keep looking at their eyes because when you look at their eyes you're speaking more with your eyes than your words and if you want to have powerful conversations with people then make sure you have eye contact with them so did you all get these three aspects three important aspects of communication word tone of voice and body language. Okay? There are so many times I go to so many events, probably I don't know people, but I just enjoy sitting and watching the body language of people. You know, and just looking at the body language, we can, you know, make some ideas of what that person is trying to communicate to the world. So got that? So now I be aware of, see, it's very easy to make impressions about other people. Okay, we keep have making impressions. This one is like that. This one is like that. But every time we open our mouth and every time we communicate, people are making impressions about us. So I personally feel that all the issues in this world, the reason for the issues that we are having is because of miscommunication. And the solution for all the issues that we have in this world is communication. You know, if you can, just sit and make a list of all the people that you have a trouble opening your mouth and expressing yourself freely. And we will try to find out why our expression is caught up. Why is it that we are not able to express ourselves? So our throat, okay, anytime you have any, phys any issues, okay, whether physically or your self-expression or communication issues, then this is, uh, I did one small session in the beginning about the seven chakras. 
So today I am going to talk a little about the fifth chakra. This is called the Vishuddhi chakra. This is called the fifth energy center. This is your throat chakra. Okay. And if this is an imbalance, what happens is that you are not able to express yourself fully. You want to say the words, but the words are not coming out with certain people. You are not able to say what you want. The things are just stuck over here or here, but they do not come out over here. And this is when your throat chakra is weak. And sometimes you have an overdeveloped throat chakra, you talk extra. <laughs> okay. You, there is a lot of gossiping and there is a lot of unnecessary conversations. So your throat chakra has to be in balance. Okay. Uh, we have, okay, well, how many minutes now? We have, okay, we have about 15 minutes now. Okay. So there are certain yoga poses. Okay. There are certain tips for uh, taking care of your throat. Okay. So when we have a, I, see, anytime you have a sore throat or thyroid issues or De uh, mouth issues, dental issues, all these you know physical issues around this part is because this you need to give energy to this center, and this center is represented by the color blue. Okay, so you need to start with certain exercises activating your throat region. So if you're free, you just sit down right now and makes do some throat exercises the more you stretch your throat up and down the more it opens up your self-expression okay so start with your um, you can do start with your neck rotations so we will do nine rotations right side nine rotations left side so can we start okay just go right clockwise i prefer the uh, number nine to number 10. I don't know why because I'm a 9 number person. So just count. Feel the stretch in your throat as you go round and round. 4 5 6 7 8 Nine. Same thing, do the anti-clockwise, but I want you to concentrate on your throat and you can feel the stretch in your throat as you go round and round. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I prefer to close my eyes when I'm doing this so that if you can fully concentrate only on the uh, throat area. Okay. Now there's another exercise you can do, and this is also good because you know our we most of the time our stress is collected around the neck and our sh uh, shoulder region. So one of the exercises which I really like is hold your right hand on your left side and keep pressing your neck towards your right side. You should feel the stretch in this area and hold it to a count of nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it? Similarly, put your hand on your, your left hand on your right, about your right ear. Pull it towards, try to put it, put your left ear to your left shoulder. And keep pressing that part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am not a yoga teacher, but these are things which I have practiced myself. So I know, especially when I sit in front of a computer and you can feel the all the you know, tightness in this region, I, my neck and my shoulder exercises really, really help. Another thing is, put your both your hands in the front of your forehead, press your neck behind, okay? Press your head behind. 
you should feel and by the way you should be sitting absolutely straight your neck always check whether your neck is in straight line with your spine always okay now hold your the forehead press it behind and feel the feel it as if your whole head you're pushing it behind 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 2001 2002 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 
I can't hear any roaring sound. Only my roaring sound is coming. Okay. <coughs> Can you feel your throat getting shaken? Okay. Okay, just do it only five times. I think that is enough. Okay, because you're doing it for the first time. So, this is, <laughs> I know it looks very funny, but yes, it is good. It's good for your throat, it's good for your self expression. Okay. Uh, is it funny? <laughs> it's funny? It's funny, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, now there is something called Bija Mantra. Okay, so one of the ways in which, there are different ways in which you can work to improve your throat chakra. And one of the ways is singing. Okay, so whenever you get a chance, please sing along with the radio, along with your internet or sing in the bathroom, or no, singing is one of the ways to uh, activate your throat, throat chakra. And it's and through your throat chakra is also associated with your creativity. Okay? So each one of us, we have our own unique style of communication. So every the same thing, people can express it in different ways. So if you want to improve on your creativity also, use this throat chakra and I believe creativity is the answer to all our needs okay we always think of the right way and the left way but there is also a creative middle way but we have to think of that new creative middle way and if you want to get more and more creative expression then you need to activate your throat chakra so singing is also one of the ways in which you can activate it uh, another another uh, ways of activating your throat chakra is by reciting mantras you know, you have these mantras which, you know, if you keep saying that again and again, the mantras have a kind of vibration. And as you say the mantras, you can feel the vibration clearing your throat area. Okay? That is one of the ways. There is something called a Bij Mantra. Bij Mantra means a seed mantra. So each of the seven energy centers has got one Bij Mantra. And the Bij Mantra for the throat is called hum so i would like all of you all just to say the word hum okay uh, so how you say hum and the way you say the word hum is that you feel the whole vibration in this area it's not om it is h u m hum you know like a hummingbird hum okay so now we'll just say hum nine times you can close your i prefer closing my eyes when i'm doing this because you can completely concentrate on your, uh, the vibrations around your throat. Okay? So start. Um, I Very nice. And there is another very, very good pranayama for your throat and that is Brahmari. Brahmari is take it to index fingers, cover your ears, okay, and you say the only, you say the uh, ma kara, mm, ma, but when you say that, you should feel the whole vibration inside your head, okay. Uh, from the, it will start with the throat region and the vibration will continue inside your head. Do this for nine times and you see how you will feel. 
it will really clear all the thoughts and will be, give place for your self expression okay so we start again with makara nine times mm. try to prolong it as long as you can open your eyes keep your hands folded we will close the session with one long omkara take a deep inhalation deep breath vibrations inside your body rub your palms together put it in your eyes thank you thank you god for everything thank you everybody it was a pleasure to talk about the different chakra to talk about the throat chakra today and we will be talking about all the seven chakras and the different sessions that are going to come so thank you so much and see you next week tuesday will be a yoga session so we will come on next friday okay so thank you thank you everyone bye bye yeah